Hello friend, welcome back to more X4 Foundations. My name is Tobel. In this video, we have some money. And like anyone who has a little bit of savings, of course, we should invest in our local economy and spend it. So I think, based on the results of what I asked you guys in the last episode, a lot of folks want to see some station construction. And I would be kind time. of interested in that as well. So what I'm going to do is head over to the Reach because there are a few hull part stations and I was thinking originally what kind of a component would be good for us to make. And I thought, especially if we're setting up in Argon Prime, that, hey, hull parts are going to be needed for a ton of different vessels. But looking right over at the reach, I can see that there are actually three hull part factories in one system alone, at least. So maybe not the best option for us. However, those hull part factories are going to need raw materials. And maybe instead of going for a major... What would you call that? Like a second tier producer? Or maybe even a third tier producer? Why don't we go to, like, to the basics? Why don't we produce or process metals? Why don't we process gases and then sell those to these types of stations, right? So all of these hull part factories are going to need something in order to build their hull parts. So what I'm going to do is go over to this hull part station here in the reach. We're going to scan it down. And uh, that way, once you scan a station, once you scan all of its components, you're able to learn what makes that station Entering tick. What system. is the, the logical reach. overview of Yon Station? So we're going to check this out and find what makes a hull part factory work. I'm assuming... Uh, let's take a look. We are in scan mode. I hull think these are unique. Factory. I don't think I've seen these things here before. Everything else seems to be a, uh, a dock, a dock, a storage unit, or whatever. So let's scan this bad boy up top. Okay, so it flashed there real quick, which I think means we've scanned it. So if we go into the logical overview now, we don't see... Okay, so maybe I need to scan more of the station. Maybe that's not everything. Do we have to scan all of the available parts here? Let's see if there's a different sound. I don't know what you have to do to get the logical overview of a station. Is it like a certain percentage of Yon Station? This is the tier... Isn't this the, the, the big three... Kong dock or something right here. There's also a data node or a exposed majigger here. <laughs> it's just floating in mid space. Yeah, sure. We have a mission of art of the illusion. My associates and I are looking for uh, to make something disappear. Ooh, sabotaging station defenses would do the trick. Don't think I want to sabotage the station turrets. Although, hang on, what did that? What did that need? Let me back up out of this real quick. I should still have the mission available here. Um, sabotaging the station defenses. I don't know if it's the hack. Because remember, we have those bypass systems. We have one of the two things. It's the one that we never seem to be able to use. Security. Hey, we have both, actually. We have a, decry a decryption and a bypass system. However, actually, yeah, just one of those would be worth it, right? Let's try it. Let's try this out. Ooh, crap. <laughs> Let's not shoot the station. Okay, Art of the Illusion. I accept. Where are we going? I I could count on you. Grand Exchange? Really? Uh, no, it's having us go over into a different station. All right, I might do that between cuts instead. Is there anything left on this station that we have not yet scanned down? Maybe this over here? I love that star back in the distance there. It's so pretty. Okay, so maybe now will you show me the secret of your logical overview? I want to see what makes you tick. There we go. So hull parts. So hull parts are made using energy cells, graphene, and refined metals. And if we take a look at, I believe, the encyclopedia, under wares, under wares. If we take a look at graphene, graphene is made from methane. It's going to take 80 energy cells. And then refined metals is going to be made from what, ore? Just raw ore, yeah, so 240 ore. So we could make a station that produces these items, right? So it'll, it'll process ore into refined metals. It'll process methane into graphene. We could also put down an energy... What was this? Energy cells? Um, I think I'm thinking of... We actually want to be looking at blueprints, right? Blueprints. So, modules, blueprints here. Uh, what am I looking for? Energy cell production. Can I not take a look at how much this gives me? I don't think I can. But I believe it gives you a... Like, I think it gives you a couple... Maybe three or four hundred or two hundred energy cells per cycle. So, I think one solar panel on a station would be enough to give us the uh, what we're looking for in terms of like um, 
the solar output that we would need every cycle to, to keep our station working. Now, water and meat, because we are going to have some workers on the station, I'm guessing we'll just import those. I mean, it'd be really cool if we could make an all-in-one self-contained system. But what I'd like to do is find a station or find a system where we can do everything at once. So ore is going to be easy. Methane, though, I think is going to be a little bit harder. Methane is going to be in the area that's either going to be purple or it's going to be what? All blue? So we're looking for any of those areas. Now, there's none in Argon space directly. I haven't really gone down deeper. Isn't there... Um, what the void? There's another system for Argon that I don't really remember. Oh, Black Hole Sun. We haven't checked out Black Hole Sun either. And so Second Contact has some purple. We do have some purple, I believe, if I remember right. That whole big giant system near... Oh, what was the system that was empty? I'm like flying all over the place. Napoleo's Fortune. Yeah, Napoleo's Fortune has a massive amount of mixed ore. Oh, hey, there's a... You know what? Hey, Scouty McScout. Why don't you just come here? And can I have you just drop off a resource probe? Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's let's clear Scouty McScout's orders. And we're just going to have them drop a resource probe right by the gate. So maybe drop one here. One here. Just I don't know where the... I assume they're clouds. They're not going to be like an actual resource you can spot other than maybe a mist. Although I think someone said if you go into scan mode and you do the R. Wrong thing. Long range scan. Sorry. Hold down R. Let it go. If you see a blue cloud, that is a gas pocket. So all of this is a gas pocket. Do we actually have any... Where are we at? We're not in Argon Prime. We're in the reach. Oh, yeah. That's right. So interesting though. Why is this all a gas pocket? Because it all says it's minerals instead of gas, so that's kind of interesting. Either way, I will go back to Argon Prime. I might grab myself a couple of the resource probes so we can start doing some testing. So what we need to find is a place with both methane and ore in one area. What I would love to do is, is do this in, or close to Hatikva, not Hatikva, sorry, in a, close to Napoleo's Fortune. That would be my preference. But I really don't know where methane is. So we're going to have to put down a couple of detection areas. Try to find where methane is. Then we'll start talking about where to build the station. Oh, the other thing too, by the way. Entering let's system. go ahead and go to the wharf Argon because we need Prime. to talk about getting the modules for these items, right? We need to have the production modules themselves for our station. Because the only thing we know how to build right now is energy cells and storage. Oh, we're also going to need... We have a solid storage, don't we? But we don't have a liquid or gas storage. So I don't know what we need. I assume there's like a gas storage. Because if you have a raw material, it has to be stored at some point. Like, I mean, there's a certain amount that I think can be dropped directly into production, maybe. But I also think if you have a surplus, which we are going to have because we're going to have miners who are bringing in goods, we're going to have to have a place for those goods to be stored. So we will need a storage thing for both liquid and the gas. Sorry, the uh, the solid and the gas. <laughs> there we go. There's our there's our boop for the day, of course. Hey, let's also make a, the rounds. I know I have been trying to keep an eye out for any pilots for hire and stuff like that, just just randomly here and there. But uh, it doesn't seem like I'm I'm really finding a lot of the three stars. Oh my gosh. So let's go over to our faction representative of the Argon Fed because they seem to have every single blueprint we would ever need in life. All right, so. Hello, there. Hello, friend. Good to see you again, Morel. It's good to see Morelle. you, friend. It's good to see you, friend. I didn't know we're friends, pal. Okay, so what we want, we're looking for... Okay, so it was it was graphing production. That's great. That's 206,000. If we want to look for refined minerals, that's or metal, that's going to be another 266,000. That's great. What about a gas storage? Liquid storage, liquid storage... Is it going to be liquid versus solid? Is that pretty much just it? I think, I guess it would be a liquid storage, maybe? Container is when, hmm. I assume the solid is going to be ores, and then the liquid is going to be, maybe it's a mix of both. The gases or liquids, like what, if you're, if you're, if you're producing water from ice. I don't see anything that says a gas. So either there is a specific gas storage item. Let's take a look again at Yon Wikipedia. The Wikipedia of X4 and modules. So this will tell us what the available ones are. So here are all the storage modules. Or are these the only ones we know of, perhaps? Yeah, I think actually these are the only ones we've seen or scanned. 
Because I, do, I don't even see the ones that she had in here. Okay, fair enough. So maybe I have to go find a place that actually does the processing for a gas, like helium, and then see what kind of stuff they use. Either way, it's it looks like right now, the blueprints are relatively cheap, right? So if we, it, it, I know at least we want, we could just get the solid storage. We want to do that. What do we have for storage already? Container storage. Let's get liquid and solid. That's a lot. Let's get liquid. <laughs> Maybe we'll need solid in a minute. So let's grab liquid. Let's grab graphene production. Let's grab refined metal production. What else might we need? We have the larger dock. We have the small dock. We have the ability to make our own solar power cells as well. I think we're pretty much good. I don't really want to go into water production, but it almost seems to be encouraging us to do this, right? Because it's relatively cheap. These are really, really cheap blueprints. So we're going to go down by almost a million just getting the blueprints the normal, legit way. But I think we need to get this stuff in order to... I mean, eventually we're going to use liquid storage anyways at some point. So I might as well grab it now. If we need solid storage, I'll come back and get that. So, all right. We bought everything. We have all of our blueprints that we're going to need. The question is, where are we going to set up our lovely station, the first station uh, for Darien Space Industries. Is that our name? I keep forgetting what our company is called. Darien Space Industries. Where, oh, where do we go to? All right, let's go and get a bit of an upgrade. We've got to go ahead and do, or we're going to do, the consumable here. We're going to grab a few of the resource probes. I want to have just a few in my inventory. We can always pick these back up, so we don't need like a thousand of them. Satellites, I might want a few just in case I want to put anything down and a nav beacon as well. Just to have them on our ship. I'll add that all to the shopping list. It's going to take about four seconds to do. And then over here, what is our friend doing? So, okay. We have... Hi hey, hello. Is Nvidium a lot popular, more popular than I thought? There is some Nvidium right outside of the jump here. The super highway into Napoleo's Fortune. That's awesome. So you're relatively close. Are there, are there any other areas here? There is... There's some stuff here. Let's drop off a... Resource probe in Pontifex's claim. Remember, we're not at war with the Holy Order of the Pontifex. And then I guess we'll just drop something over here in Second Contact as well. Cool. Sounds good. Actually, maybe we'll go do Second Contact. Uh, there are some other systems that we've really not checked out yet. So right now we're going to be on a mission to find where some gases are. We need methane. And we need... Or is really easy. I have not seen methane yet. So that's going to be the new one for us. So we'll go ahead and fly around a bit and see if we can't come to any methane pockets. You know what? I wonder, maybe I should send one of our mining ships to, to take care of that Nividium. If it's that close. God, is there... Hang on. You know what? I, I remember the last episode or the episode before that, I think I learned that you can shift to to go into the scanning mode. Does Nividium show up differently? Because wouldn't that make life a lot easier for us to just fly through an asteroid belt ourselves instead of dropping these uh, these things down every three seconds? So blue is ore, maybe. Asteroid. Silicon. Okay, so silicon is blue. Asteroid. I assume that dark one is ore. So I'm not seeing any other colors yet. Maybe I'll do a bit of that. Running around, trying to find... Why are we falling this way? Weren't we going like towards this asteroid field? Weird. Asteroid. asteroid. Weird stuff. Um, I'm gonna go run around to a couple of asteroid belts, off camera. Hey, uh, Scout Entering Scout, by the way, just dropped Second off contact. his other resource probe. And it looks like there's even more Nividium hanging out here in Napoleon's fortune. It's not a ton compared to, like, you know, the ore, but I mean, it's still probably a pretty good amount. So maybe it's actually a lot easier to find than I originally thought. So perhaps Nividium is going to be a big winner for us. These are all blue. I assume this is ice. Because these literally are... No, they're literally blue. Okay, so I'm assuming that's ice. So we're going to go over here into one of these little pockets or whatever. Because these are the... Again, this is the gas and the solid area. I'm really nervous about the idea of even setting up in second contact. Second contact seems to have... Oh, look. Surprise, surprise. There's a bunch of xenon coming out. It seems to always get poked at by xenon. What if one day they come in here and, you know, establish a massive foothold and start destroying everything in the system. I feel like that's going to screw us over, so I doubt we want to go that route. Hello. Hello. What are you, purple Asteroid. thing? Oh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I want to know what you are, my friend. Hey, Nividium! 
Well, how about that? Today we learned something, friends. Davidium is, in fact, found randomly in popular systems like uh, Second Contact. That's great. Hey, uh, where do we sell this at? I'm pretty sure you sell... You wouldn't sell it at the wharf, would you? Davidium's not an option. I think it's the trading station. Because it seems like it's a. It's just a unique... It's like gold, right? Uh, Manja Dust. Navidium right here. So 488 per is what they're currently buying for. Or buying the Navidium for. So... Yeah, that seems like a great plan. It, it, hang on. So if that's where we're, the, the sell point is, are there any... There are no fields there. And there's no purple in Hatikva's choice. I think this is actually maybe false. I don't feel like there's purple there. Maybe a tiny bit. This is only a couple of jumps. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to test this out. Let's grab Driller Alpha. You are my new friend. You are going to get your orders revoked. We're going to go ahead and actually clear everything out. Say dock and wait. No, we're going to say hold position. And we're going to clear all of your orders. Now, you have what in your inventory? You have silicon in your inventory. Uh, we have a couple of... Hi, there's a silicon refinery. We're going to sell all of your silicon. This is actually really nice. Sell your silicon. Come over here. Hello? Why all of a sudden can I give you behavioral orders? There we go. And now we're going to say sector auto mine. I'm going to hit a mine, aren't I? Sector auto mine, Nvidium in this second contact system. Okay, we're going to try to see how the auto mining does with, you know, somewhere in the video. I don't know if we have to drop a, what would you call that, a, a resource probe here or not. Not a mine, I meant uh, asteroid, sorry. Where is, let's just stop for a second. Where is the, are we still in range of purple rock? Okay, so here's the spot with purple rock. Let's go ahead and drop down our resource probe and I'll, I'll also drop down a satellite. I have no idea, if, I don't think you need a satellite. I would assume you need a resource probe, but maybe they just know. They just inherently know and can smell where all the good uh, rocks are. So we'll let our miner try that out. If it works out really well, then why not just bring all of our miners in here, right? Or or start sending them on auto mining jobs all over the place, anywhere there's a system that has blue or purplish uh, asteroids, right? Because that's going to give us way more money than we would make from silicon or ore mining. What did I give? Did I give our Cerberus an order to do that? Did I seriously give our Cerberus the order to auto mine? Patrol. What are you doing up here, bud? Oh, you know what? So for no particular reason, not at all because I checked a wiki, we're going to be here in Holy Vision. And we are going to check out this gas deposit that is off of the beaten trail. This is that route that can take you down into... I believe this is over to... Um, oh, crap. What was that? Faulty circuit? Short circuit? <laughs> whatever this, uh, the system is that the Xenon are playing around in. And the question would be for me, what does, if you've got an auto, I guess it'd be an auto gas miner, right? If we have a station that is all the way over here in Napoleo's fortune, would they be smart enough? Look at all of our ships spazzing out. Would they be smart enough to come all the way over here and grab the gas that you need? Oh, hi. We are in a massive cloud of something. It's terrifying. Let's go ahead and drop our resource probe. Resource probe. Survey says, hey, we've got methane, hydrogen, and helium all right here. Lovely. So we could... That's the question, though. Where do we set up shop? It's not exactly the most convenient location. We're not taking damage, are we? Because we're in a... Mad oh. <laughs> oh, let's uh, pretend I didn't do that and go ahead and just drop this resource probe. I promise I won't shoot you, friend. Um, if we go and look, there's another sector of gas in Pontifex's claim. What I'm, what I'm, what I'm debating right now is where do we set up our, our cool station, right? So it would be nice to set up in Argon Prime because we're very close to a location we can trade, right? We've got a bunch of hull park factories, lots of people that I assume would want graphene and stuff like that. So I wonder if it, if it's convenient to be relatively close to the main highway rather than go all the way out here. To Napoleo's Fortune. I do want to set up a base in Napoleo's Fortune. I just don't know if the first base we make, if that's the best idea. So, with all that being said, let me see if I can go find a little bit more information. Maybe Silent Witness has a little bit of methane. I figured since we're just hanging around here for a minute waiting for some intel, why don't we try to do this station hack mission? Also, I think our trader's done. 
Driller Alpha seems to be full up on storage. So if we take a look at what they've got, they've got a little bit of silicon and mostly Navidium. So why don't we do this? Let's go sell off all of your silicon at the station. And then we're going to queue up a lovely order to come over here to hit Tikva's Choice and trade with them as well. Okay, cool. So we'll sell all the Navidium here. We'll see how much money that makes us, if it's worth it. Um, I don't think the auto trading with Navidium, either it's not working right or maybe it's because we don't have... Where is the credit thing? Maybe it's because this system is not or this station is not within the sensor range or is it we do this does it give us live offers i think it does so i'm not sure why the the auto trading part does not work out of the system either it's because we're we're giving them an order to sector auto trade i guess that would be it if it, if we're giving them the order to sector auto trade they're not leaving the sector to go sell stuff does that make sense so let's take a peek over at this mission to go hack a station i think we've got everything we need maybe and I believe the mission turnout, like the mission reward, is going to make be more money than we would get if we were to, you know, go sell that particular item we need, the bypass or the decryption system. I might also swing up here to Hatikva's Choice 3 because they also has... I saw this purple, I thought it was out of the map, but I, did, I didn't notice this little section here. Hatikva's Choice wouldn't be a bad spot. I feel like they have a pretty decent uh, defensive area. I don't think we're going to get into a fight with the Xyarth, by the way. I believe we're just at the point where they don't like us and we can't use their trading platforms, but they're not going to outright attack us. Also, I don't think I've seen Xyarth ships out here in our Argon territory. So as far as I know, they're not going to be too upset with us by just existing. We're at negative 15. Uh, yeah, here we go. Ships and stations belonging to that faction will not target your combat ships. So it's telling us that they like they don't like us enough to not give us access to the station but they don't hate us so much that they're shooting at us, right? So we're, we're relatively close. All right. So let's go see. We want to come over here, sabotage the station turrets. Oh, God. What do we need? I probably should have looked at the sub info here. How do you... Do we destroy them? Oh, I feel like that's not going to be great. Or are we supposed to, like, EMP the turret here? Let's take a look. You're a flak turret. How the heck am I supposed to sabotage you? I guess maybe... This is going to be awful. It's going to result in our death. If we get shot when we're in our space Vanguard. suit, are we super screwed? I should have quick saved, I'm sure. Okay, here's the thing. No options when I press Quantum F on it. Factory. This is terrifying. <laughs> this is great. Okay, there's still nothing. Sabotage the station turret. I'm literally hitting it. So I don't particularly think there's anything else I can do here. Would I Do I need a station bomb or something? Yeah, we're not getting any options here at all. But I still have those items in my inventory, don't I? go into our inventory and check. So we have the what is it called? The security bypass? Drop all wares. Drop all wares. Are these not something I can't, I can't, do I drop one of them? I assume I just don't use it in conjunction randomly. Yeah. Alright. That didn't quite work out. I'll have to do some research. Unless they literally mean just blow it the hell up. In that case, I think they could have just said, blow it the hell up, instead of saying sabotage. But I, I thought it would be some kind of a hack Eclipse, or something. Vanguard. But apparently not. All right, we'll, uh, that's fine, that's fine. We'll go Dogging hunting granted. for our fancy pants uh, minerals here in just a second. There was also, I just saw behind me, a bit of a data leak, if I remember. Where did it go? Oh, no, I just saw it a minute ago. Was it, like, the perfect angle? There it is. Oh, okay. We just got a discount. Fair enough. All right. So I don't think I need any quantum tubes now, but thanks for the discount. I'll head over to Hatikva's Choice uh, 3, and we'll see if there's any more fancy stuff. Three. All right. I see super creepy gases. So let's go ahead here in this direction. I don't think there's actually a whole lot in Hatikva's Choice 3. There's only like a tiny little pocket of purple. But we'll check it out just to be thorough. There's also our Scouty McScout is... What are you up to, buddy? Where did I put you last? Um, 
helium, hydrogen, navidium, ore, and silicon. So navidium is actually much more prevalent, I think, than I thought it was. Let's collect that and maybe move into, I don't know, over here maybe and drop it. Uh, resource probe. I'm going to come out and go ahead and drop a uh, resource probe as well. Resource probe. All right, survey says... Oh, hey! There we go. We actually do have methane here. 0. 0.0045 kilometers cubed. So I guess it's a smallish amount. I have no idea, but... Okay, so it's in Hatikva's choice, which is interesting. I think this is all considered to be one sector. So if we set a station here, wouldn't they be able to, if we give them a sector trade, like, hey, go trade and do stuff, wouldn't they be able to... Why are there Xenon coming from here, though? Ah, oh, crap. That is not my favorite thing in the world. I don't like that we're... That would be right next to a gate for the Xenon. I don't like that at all. Um... Dang it, that kind of puts a bit of a crimp in my plans. We could we could build a station here in like actually in the same area as the ore itself, because our ships would be going out and getting the ore. Anyone who wants to trade with us, what the heck? <laughs> Did you see the ships spinning out of control? Uh, anyone who wants to trade with us would simply just have to get off the freeway, get onto the super highway, and come visit. Would that be the better idea? I don't really know which route to go. Let's take a look at the prices. So let's go into manage plot. And if we wanted to build a new plot, let's do three by or three kilometers cubed. I don't know what size we would actually need. So creating new plot, we'll drop this down right here. So 583,000. Okay, 216, 216. So I'm guessing the closer you are to a station or the jump gate. Nope, actually we can cuddle this thing. We can be really close to the superhighway exit, and that is not a problem. That's kind of cool. Okay, so maybe the closest we can get to the field without increasing the price. So, like, right about here. So, we're really close to... Where am I at? I'm right here. And I assume this field is, is pretty far out there. So, we could put a station down here. People come out of the superhighway. They immediately turn over here, and they will come trade with us. That's great. Our own miners would go out and mine and get the gases and get the solids we need. It would only cost 216,000 credits to build the license. I think I like this idea. I like this spot. And again, this is a small station. We are going to build a, a much larger headquarters-ish and, you know, a larger base and all that kind of jazz. But we need to start somewhere. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot and see what happens, guys. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be the best idea or not, as I choke to death. So I bought the land. Now we have to design the actual station itself. So we need to at least have graphene and metal. We probably want to have the biggest dock because this is going to be where larger trade ships come in, right? And I assume we're going to be making stuff in bulk at some point. So let's put this in here somewhere. I believe the three boxes that you can see going off at the different directions, it's kind of like the space that's needed for ships to be able to dock. And nothing can extend into these invisible boxes because this is where really big ships are going to come park at. All right, there we go. So let's put this onto the booty of the dock. There we go. That's that. We'll put a cross. Actually, I don't think we need a cross section per se. We just need a little vertical piece to come off it. How much are these costing, by the way? So our price right now is sitting at 1.9 million. 1.25. And if I remove this, it goes down to 1.89. So it's not a terribly large amount of money in order to build these vertical par portions. We probably don't want to, you know, spam them out. Um, Production-wise, where do we put the refined metal? It has to be... It has to hit something top-down. Okay. Interesting. So, what if we do... This might give us allow us to kind of keep going up or down. Let's do another connector. And then a base out in one direction, a base out in the other direction. Again, we can't go into the other boxes here. Or else nobody will like us, apparently. Okay, so we'll put those two there. Again, production module, graphene here, and we'll put refined metal, same thing. That also needs a top-down thing, and it could fit in there. Okay, so there we go. We have our two production units. We could add in the energy cell in the back, like that. Uh, we do need some storage. We're going to need solid storage. Crap. Do you need solid for ore, or do you need the container? Mmm, I don't know what graphene counts as, actually. Let me do a little bit of digging. What I can do is save the module changes as it is. 
Okay, so according to the encyclopedia, methane is going to be stored as a liquid. Graphene is stored as a container. And what was the other thing we had? Refined metals. I think refined metals would be a container as well. And ore is going to be solid. We did not grab a solid. So I do need to go back and get to the solid storage. But we've got everything, I think, roughly that we need. So let's go back into map real quick. Go back into plot. I haven't really done a lot of station construction since the original game came out. And I assume that some things have changed. So I am trying to take it slow to make sure that if we are kind of covering anything that I am telling you the most accurate of things. And we have plenty of places to throw our storage here. So I'm going to put down, and we might need, maybe we'll need like three or four of these. I don't actually really know, but we will get as, crap, give me, <laughs> no, stop it. I want the storage. Let's bring this all the way down. And I guess we'll right click to, oh, now it's not aligned perfectly. I wanted it to get to get exactly 90 degrees. Somehow we'll survive. Hey, shift. We'll lock it to an angle. Lovely. So we've got our liquid storage down. I'll throw a container storage down, and then we'll also throw a solid once we research everything. So right now, our total is 3.6 million. We can change the global price modifier. This is how much we're willing to pay. What percentage of, like, the highest value of an item. So it's like, I don't want to pay the most expensive price for an energy cell or a claytronics. I want to go about 60% probably. So we'll keep it cheap for the moment. So we'll do, like, 60% of total of maximum cost or maximum value. We do have to buy a builder, builder Bob. So let's go over to one of our systems with a satellite in it. And we should be able to pick up a builder somewhere. I think you're busy. All right, I guess we'll, we'll hire maybe one of the parented ships because they're, they seem to have nothing going on. Is their station getting attacked too? Yeah, that's right. Again, the Holy Order of the Parented are not playing nice together. So an HOP construction vessel. We'll go ahead and select you. Congratulations, you are the chosen one. And from here, if we actually want to build the station, we dump our money into the available money for construction. I'm going to confirm everything for now. What I want to do is go pick up the blueprint for solid, the solid storage, and then we'll start the rest of that construction. Um, here is where our factory is going to be placed. It's not terribly far away from the methane, by the way, so that's not the worst thing in the world. They have to go for a minute. Hey, did our delivery get finished up, by the way? Uh, the delivery with our new Nividium resources? No, we're still... I think you're... St oh, hang on, what was this? Oh, wow, 720 Nividium made over a quarter of a million credits. That's awesome. What a great deal. Are you immediately going back to mine more Nividium, by the way? Because that makes me incredibly happy. Uh, where did you go to, friend? You are already right back at second contact. Okay, guess what? We're going to change the orders of all of our drillers to go play and do the same thing. We're now switching fully over to Nividium, glorious Nividium, praise be its name. I'll be right back once I give all these guys the orders. I will head back to Argon Prime to get that last blueprint. And I guess from there, it's just a matter of waiting as we get more money. We'll be dumping money into our station. I also need to pick up a manager for our station at some point because they'll take care of ordering our ships to go trade and do stuff. So that's going to be very, very important as well. Okie dokie, back on the Argon Wharf, going back to our Argon representative. We're going to pick up that solid storage. And from there, I think we're pretty much good to go. We can start it's dumping money <laughs> into this never-ending project. God, you're such a good manager. Look at you. You're also a good pilot, too. You're just great. Morel, you're awesome. So we're going to buy a blueprint module. We are going to get Argon small solid storage. There we go. It's going to cost a little bit more, but 381 down to 1.2 million. Good luck out there. But at this point, I believe we've got everything set on our little plot of land. So let's go over to Hatikva's. So this is Grand Exchange. There's Hatikva's Choice. Continue. And there's our lovely building. We do want to add in the solid storage. Again, I'm not entirely sure what, you know, how much storage is needed with everything yet. We will be finding more of that out as we go. But this is a good start, I think. Oh, crap. Probably also want to have the basic dock too. And I will do this and rotate you like so. And there we go, because everything has to align up. Almost symmetry, guys. We're very close to symmetry here. So this is our first factory. We'll call this one uh, Darian. Oh, gosh. Graphene. What is it? It's graphene and... What is graphene? Methane. Darian meth... <laughs> Rock and meth factory. There we go. So Darian rock and meth factory. 
We will save this as uh, Rock Myth at the moment for, for lack of a better creative idea. And we're going to start dumping money into the station pretty much. So there we go. We've got our builder assigned confirming the changes. And I believe now we will start seeing uh, the queued up orders. So basically people are going to start placing the buy orders or we're going to we're going to put out a call for all of these different items to be delivered to us. And then people will start responding to that over time, I think. And each of these has to be built in order, I will, right? Because it's going to do the, uh, the the three dock tier first, and then it's going to build the structure and then everything else like that. So it is going to build it in order. Yeah, I think we're pretty much good. Not enough resources to build first new module. How much does the, to be fair, the dock probably needs a ton. We probably don't even have enough money for that. But that's okay. We're, we're giving it a shot. So oh, I hope this isn't for like one thing. The price? No, the price was for the entire project because it kept going up and up and up. Fair enough. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this alone for a bit. Now, I wanted to really have this station done for you guys, but I really don't think that's going to be an option for us for this episode at least. So what I might do to round this episode out is why don't we go down to second contact and see if we can't poke our good, lovely friends, the Xenon, because I kind of wanted to go play with our Cerberus again. So while everything is getting started, we're going to try to make a little bit more money. I could do missions, but you know, come on. Missions, really? Missions are no fun. I did also give all of our auto miners jobs to go haul or sector auto mine. Uh, you, hang on a minute. Are you auto docking somewhere? Where are you? You went all the way over here to get Nividium. You're going to dock. Oh, this is great. Okay, so it is a sector thing. Okay. What's happening is, remember, I gave my good friend here, our auto miner, we gave them the job of sector auto mining. And they're not going to be able to, went the wrong way, they're not going to be able to, to normally to mine what they need and sell it unless everything is in the same system. Luckily, in Hatikva's choice, there is some Nividium in the same system as the cell point, which is the trading station right here. So this particular trader went all the way over here to get Nividium. And they're full up and they're going to come sell it, which is actually kind of cool. I don't know if it's efficient. Like, I don't know if this is the only pocket of Nividium around. Entering system. Second contact. So what? Do we wind up looking for any of these systems that have the um, Requesting immediate the trading stations? Could be an option. Let's go find our good friend, Cerberus. Okay, so meanwhile, everyone else is kind of stuck. So I'm going to have to manually give the sell orders for our other ships. So we'll tell them to go trade with the trading station here and make 321,000 off of you. Driller Charlie, I think, has to do the same thing. It's not terribly annoying, to be honest. Uh, hang on, where's Alpha? Did I just give Alpha the order or Charlie the order to go sell? Requesting immediate backup. Everyone's requesting backup because, you know what? Xenon are scurry. Where's Bravo? You're in Napoleo's fortune. Are you already full? No, you're still auto-mining. So when, they're, when they get full, I'll send them down to trade with... Uh, that's actually not too bad. That's a pretty close run for auto-mining. Let's grab our Cerberus. Remember, we can dock at our Cerberus. So wherever you are, why don't you come out and play? Okay, so you're all the way over there. I'm going to go meet it, and we're going to go get a bit of a fight going on. Okay, okay. We finally have caught Docking up with our right. Cerberus friend. So let's go ahead and pop on board if I can. Are you driving? No, you're not doing anything. I have auto docking. I do. Yay. Eclipse. Vanguard. Let's expose ourselves to the wonders of space. Holy crap, 455,000 credits for one of the trades just now. We're going to be making plenty of money if we uh, continue to just allow the Sir auto miners to do their thing. Sentinel. All right, Anton, I appreciate all Hello. that you do for me, but I want to go play. Hey, how do we actually hide a ship, guys? Does anyone know how to do that? Like, how do I tell? Because we can store this Viper, I thought. How does one store a ship? Collect deployables? No. No. Because I'm pretty sure the, the Cerberus has the ability to put something in its cargo hold. But I don't quite know how that happens. All right. That's fine. Let's go ahead and go into Shift F1. We're going to do a little bit of exciting stuff towards the end of the episode. Although the money that's rolling in right now is quite exciting in its own right. Also, let's go back to our station and dump more money into our factory. Darien Rock and Meth Factory. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and put down available money for... Con Did I actually not put any money into this? Confirm. I think I did last time. Does that mean we didn't have any orders getting placed? Probably. 
All right, all that being said, is there any more Xenon? Did they already die? No, there's still one more. Oh man, I thought I wanted to play in the fun. But there is nobody to have fun with. Let's go into that system Don't that is the void. the void. We did that last time. Remember, we did find a couple of Xenon friends to play with. So maybe we'll get a little bit more Argon relationship. Entering the void. And if I remember right, last time there was a pretty big little fight. Big little? There was a pretty big fight over in this asteroid field here. So we'll see if that fight is over and done with or if they're still kind of duking it out. Hey, is there actually a gate? Or a gate over there. Eclipse. Vanguard. What is all this? Did we figure out that this was all awful stuff? Asteroid. Let's uh, go into Shift F2. What is all the... Is this all radiation or anything? Asteroid. There are some hazardous areas to your ship, but I don't think... Oh, no, this is definitely awful. We are losing shields here. Let's go back into Shift F1. Uh, or sorry, Shift 1. So that was some kind of a radiation cloud, I'm guessing. I should have probably dropped... Um, that I should have probably dropped a resource probe there. Is there a gate out of here? There is, and I bet this goes into some kind of a Xenon system, because that's where the fight was, right? They basically... I assume they were pushing from this side, and then the uh, Argon or the Antigone was pushing from here to meet in the middle and try to kill each other. Lovely. Aha, there are some Xenon coming out of here, so I will go inside of the gate, wherever this leads to. Hey, real quick, before we die, I mean, uh, before we go in, what are all of our drillers doing? They're going back to auto mining. Cool. So they are doing what they're supposed to do. They did make us a lot of money, which is lovely. And before I do in the episode, I will double check and see where we stand with the construction of the station and, and like, Entering if we're already getting orders and whatnot. Frontier Edge. Frontier Edge. It's an unknown system. Eclipse it's kind of cool. Vanguard. Wait, what? There's no... Oh, I selected my own ship because I'm not a smart man. Uh, well, that's fine. If you want to play, I didn't really anticipate stopping here, but I did kind of go head on into this uh, enemy. enemy ship. Ah, uh, beautiful. At least our gunners are getting experience, right? That's what that's what matters. There is a power distribution unit S behind us. We could poke that. I don't really know. If, is there really a point to doing all that? They do drop items, so we could bring... You know, that, that could be a thing we do too, is raid, for lack of a better term, raid the shipping of the Xenon P. to try to get, uh, you know, whatever, whatever goods they're transporting from point A to point B. We could bring our hauler along with us. Kind of reminds me of... Um, Freelancer. Freelancer, I'm pretty sure let you do some raiding, right? It's been a hot minute. Let's see what's on the other side of this system. Because we haven't been over here and we're just waiting for money to pile up. So real quick before we go through this gate, what is the status of rock and meth? We've got... It doesn't tell us anything here about the status of construction. If we go to configure though... Awesome. Okay, so we do have some wear reservations. So there are some Talati ships that are bringing us Claytronics, which is great. That means everything is, whoa, hello, uh, working as intended. How bad is this going to be to get through here? Oh, there's a Branch 9 destroyer. I think we can power through this. If we take any hits, oh, here comes the shots. I think we're a little bit low, below the firing line. Whoa, there we go. Let's turn off flight assist. Oh, boy, we are getting hit pretty hard. I think I can burst through this. Well, that was painful. Is it going to be just as bad on the other end? Atya's misfortune. Atya's misfortune? Let's well, misfortunate. Uh, unknown we've got a unknown station here. What other kind of fun stuff do we have? A lovely... Whoa. That is a lovely looking planet. Looking for any gates in the distance as well. But I don't see anything right out of the bat. What is... Are you a defense platform? You are in fact a defense platform. Probably don't want to poke you too much in the face. This is one of those systems that has a super highway to another part of it. I see something over there on the right. So let's swing over and on the left as well. Let's swing over to these two things. I feel like at some point, remember how we had that lovely, friendly minefield that we flew through? I feel like at some point, I'm going to be getting the reverse of that. <laughs> We're going to be going through a very dense Xenon minefield. There is, I think the gate is over there on the left. You can see those two acceleration gates. I'm going to check out what this is real quick in case we want to come over here later. Again, this is all the buildup of our eventual conquest of the Xenon space. Oh boy. I wasn't paying attention right. Let's uh, try to avoid this. 
Oh, I think I just missed smashing into that and stopping right in front of that stupid uh, Xenon K destroyer. All right, so the station that I wound up passing through is a solar power plant. Trying to avoid the defense drone because I think we do drop out of our super fast warp. Yep, crap. I did drop out of that. Let's go ahead and do flight assist off. Okay, there we go. Back into fast mode. So we are getting out of here. We're going to go on the other side of the system. There is an acceleration gate. I'm kind of seeing... I don't know where the, the home system of the Xenon are. So at some point, if I could find that out, that would be kind of fun to see. So we'll continue exploring a little bit again. We're just waiting for more money to get delivered. All of our... I think our traders are getting full very quickly. You are still... You're full. What are you full of? You're full of... What happened here? Why didn't you do your, your trade? Or did you already trade and come back? And thus you're full again. Let's maybe split up where we're trading stuff too, by the way. Yeah, I feel completely safe flying through terrifying Xenon space, guys. That's completely fine. They really are like the the Borg. They only attack you if they, they think you're a threat. Three. Okay, so Atia's Misfortune 3. Looks like it's relatively similar. There is a gate on the other side of the system. I mentioned this in a couple uh, a couple episodes ago. There are some really unique formations and random stuff that you can find. Back in X Rebirth, they had a couple of really cool. I don't even know what you call this. Just fields or or you know unique areas. Maybe this is their cultural heritage site. Like, what if this is their Stonehenge? Hey, we're going to Faulty Logic. Is this the back way into Faulty Logic? I guess. Uh, Faulty Logic is the system that I always forget the name of. By the way, over here. Yeah, it comes out behind Holy Vision. So we'll be coming out over here, somewhere. At the end of this episode, is this where we're finally going to see Unknown object. a spoiler that I was trying to avoid getting to, but it seems like the um, the game has led me in this path. So if I remember right, and this might not be a fun place to be, okay? Because there are going to be mines Eclipse. in this system. Vanguard. Yes, there are mines. So let's see how bad this is. Let's go through a batch of mines, like any intelligent person, obviously. I'm super terrified right now. Now, back when I first played this, flying through a minefield wasn't the worst thing in the world. You can get hit. It won't nuke you. So what I would normally do is power through until we got on the other side of a minefield. If you get hit, then you stop and wait for your shields to recharge. All right, so what we're going to do is come to a full and complete stop. We are going to do just a little scan for no particular reason. We're just going to do a bit of a scan where the super super secret thing is that I'm, I want to show you. I'm trying to skirt the edge of the system. I don't remember where the thing is, so... Oh, hello, hello. There is... Oh, there it is. I had to go way out in the middle of nowhere. My friends, all of our searching has borne fruit. Welcome to our very Odysseus, own... Vanguard. Odysseus Vanguard, abandoned, forgotten, unloved, you might say. Sitting out here in faulty logic. This is what I've spent the last 20 minutes to do. And I didn't even come here for this. It's just that when I got to faulty logic, I'm like, oh, there's, I know this is here because this was uh, in the game basically originally. We are laying a claim. We're going to have to capture the ship. I don't remember if we can just hack it or if we have to send Marines to board it. Did we actually... I'm pretty sure we have Marines on board, don't we? Now, night, thankfully, it actually is full... It's full hull and full shield right now, which is great. All right, so I just did claim... Okay, and we actually are sending Marines out right now. So that is one of my Marine officers. I think they're going to go on board and poke it. And claim it for our very, very own. I'm pretty sure claiming... Like this... Oh, hello. Did did we just blow it up? Okay, no. That was terrifying. We broke something. For I literally my heart stopped. I thought we were gonna lose the entire freaking ship. Okay, well, apparently our marine decided to like YOLO in there and self-destruct. Michael Halter is now the captain. We have two ships now. I do not trust the autopilot to get through anything. So we're going to take our ship. And you should just stay. I think you will just stay there. We're going to take our ship that we're in right now. We're going to send this through the gate. Go all the way back out into Holy Vision. 
All right, so we are pretty much out of the terrifying, faulty logic minefield of doom. And as soon as we get over into Holy Vision, I will drop off our ship with our captain, and I will take the Viper back to rescue our newfound friend. Uh, that was a... I haven't even looked at the stats yet. Uh, this is a Odysseus Vanguard, which I believe is the Pyranid, right? There are a lot, a lot of destroyers just hanging outside of this gate. Don't build anything, apparently in Holy Vision, because that is a nightmare zone. Absolute Eclipse flippin' Vanguard. nightmare. All right, so we're about to pop through the gate. I appreciate you guys so much, as always. Please do like, subscribe to the video, hit the bell if you want to be notified when new videos come out. If you guys want to support the channel, I have a kind of a tip jar for PayPal. You can kind of send money directly one time. There's also the Patreon option. If you want to become a supporter of the channel, feel free to check out the Patreon link as well. Pilot my pilot, go back to the ship. We are going over to the Viper. You guys, I will see you again in the next episode. Until then, friends, fly safe, be well.